Alrighty guys, how's it going? Hopefully things are good. I feel a little better today. Uh, come home from work and uh, jumped hard right onto this thing. Uh, the piston is all all done. It's lightened. Uh, I opened the windows. It's already got all the clips and stuff in there. Otherwise I'd, I'd sh show you that. But uh, got all the port work done. So I figured I'd show you that. There's the lowers. There's the lunged intake. I did not touch. If you look in here, you'll still see uh, some of the coating uh, in there because I did not touch that. That's already lower than what I wanted it to be. The base work's done. The chamber work is cut. I didn't really uh, raise the uppers. Uh, all I did they uh try to see if i can uh let me pause let me see if i can find uh the part cylinder Alrighty, i found the junk cylinder uh that i mutilated so i can show you what i did to the transfers on this and uh this is not my port work in this either this this was just off another junk cylinder that i acquired uh, some Chinese M cylinder. It was super easy to cut in half. But uh, see how this side's higher than this side? If you were to draw a straight line across, this side's lower. All I did was bring a ring in to that height, and then I drew a Sharpie line, and I squared my port up. So I squared squared the port up. That that's all I did, and then uh, I did fillet more into the into the wall. Now I've done transfers this way too, but this is this is not my not my work. I I don't taper them inward. Like this, this was done. I typically, if I bring them all the way down to the bottom, I bring them all the way down to the bottom, uh, squared. But how I chose to do this one, and it sometimes works better than that way of doing it, is I did lower. Get all this dirt off here. I did did lower this a little bit, but I blended it in so it's a nice hump and then I laid the piston in here and marked out with a sharpie where this was and then I just cut it in on an angle with a gentle uh, curve on these steels I'm finding this particular style lower work seems to be more beneficial for what I'm after than the other one you do get a good gain with the other one too uh, it's just a different different feel and then I did come in here and uh, took as much out you know thin this this web down as I could on uh, each side and I also elongated them and then you can see a dark spot uh, back here I didn't touch that back wall because you want that on an angle so when this comes up it forces the charge to where you where you want it so that's how I did that. I did not raise the roof, however, it did raise a little bit. I was going after 105, uh, but I broadened the the opening point a, a little bit further because uh, this one had a real steep, you know, like the first ray of light was real narrow and it was real s steep, so I flattened it out and then. After I chamfered it and polished it, we're at 102 on the roof, and I'm at 82 on the intake. Transfers are basically stock height, just more squared off. Uh, it's got 22 thousandths of squish. Um, I'm hoping she's going to be a good, a good runner. I mean, I'll show you the differences. You can see how I brought this one. You know all the way down and this was a good running cylinder this thing made 
it was like seven horse on Joe's Dino. It was no slouch uh, by any means. I was checking a few things out. Uh, I think the exhaust port's a little wider than this one. I probably widened it a little bit. A little bit more. I don't remember widening it, but piston has plenty of clearance. If you do widen your your, your exhaust ports, you got to make sure that you got enough enough room so you don't run into your crankcase issue. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with the overall overall outcome. Everything's all chamfered, debrewed, it's honed. Everything's polished up. So I think I'm going to work on getting this together and hopefully have a bench run of it uh, later today. So, yeah, so there's there's that. If uh, For those that were wondering what the numbers were on this one, it's 100 on the roof, uh, it's 80 on the intake, and it's got 25 degrees of blowdown. And... Uh, I don't remember what the squish was on it, but it's pretty tight. Um, so, and this triport dual fingered setup did, with a pop up piston, did make seven horse. So it's not like it was a, a slouch, but uh, I'm hoping I'm not much lower than seven horse now, but I'm hoping the torque and mid range punch is up on this. So, uh, only way to tell is when I get it in the wood. So, all right, you guys take it easy and have a good one.